<clears throat> I'm going to get myself another hot coffee and take it to bed. <sighs> I rest more there. <clears throat> Maybe have a nap. And one of my fur babies. And yeah, do that. I really, really don't feel, I'm really tired and fading and I feel like crying. I just feel like crying. Some of the stuff I watched earlier on like Facebook and YouTube I did not like has really depressed me. <sighs> Animal cruelty and morbidly obese other people eating and what they ate. Oh. And I just don't feel well. I feel like my head is fully congested. And it's here. I'm starting to feel a bit nauseated. <laughs> and all the potatoes I ate, it doesn't surprise me. But anyway, I'm gonna, and I have a bit of chest wall pain. So I'm gonna go lie down. Spend some quality time with my fur baby. That one. And... Yeah, do that and I'll upload this either before during and or later since I do all that mom I'm gonna go lie down for a while do you want anything before I do that I'm gonna lay down for a while in my bed on bed do you want anything before I do that what do you want anything okay Just thought I'd offer some help. <sighs> you want another cup of tea? Okay, we'll do that before I go and do the other. <sighs> Being a foodie guru is difficult nowadays. <sighs> and I am a connoisseur. Although I'm one of the connoisseurs that's not, you know, taste testing and just takes a little taste and leaves the rest. I like when I like something that I taste it, I like to finish that. I like to eat it like a meal and or a snack. Yeah, meal. Like chili. If I'm going to attend another taste testing chili thing, if I like the chili, I want to eat the chili. <sighs> I haven't done any taste testing contests in a long time. That was fun. I wish Square One Older Out Center, when it moved and or relocated to where it is, the Active Out Center, Mississauga, I have yet to attend a taste testing there. Foods. I haven't done another chili one or, or anything lately that I know of. What do I know?